side of the broccoli. Okay. Shake it. Okay. One other safety tip. Wait, maybe. Hang on a second. Under the cutting board, can you lift up the breath? There is, this is actually for rugs, but I cut a little piece and it keeps the cutting board from shifting around so it keeps it more stable. You can also use a damp paper towel folded underneath, okay? Take off the knife and first thing you do, hold on, get the knife away from my fingers because I'm gonna reach in. Make a small cut right here to cut off the end. Right here. That's fine. Put the knife down and remove that. You can put that off to the side. Right. Okay. Then I like the broccoli stem. So cut right like about here and make sure, hold on, when you're using an, oh, careful. When you're using a knife, that's fine. Hold on, when you're using a knife. Keep your fingers curled under. There, perfect. You gotta use muscles. Ideally, you can get through that in one shot. Okay. Good. Okay. Now put that off. Well, we're gonna we're gonna use that. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna use it. I like broccoli stuff. Okay. So now, again, watch we'll my finger. Not use that for today. No, we're gonna use it for today. But okay. Cut down the middle. Watch your fingers. Remember what I told you. Then turn it, cut it again. Fingers, keep your fingers curled under. Good. Now do that again. Okay, wait. Okay. Okay. So here is the broccoli stem that we cut the very end off and then cut it near where the florets started. And it has really good flavor and I hate to waste it. I bought broccoli crowns, but they still have a little bit of a stem on them. So, but you wanna peel off that outer layer. You can use a vegetable peeler like this. Do it like a carrot. I find that a little clumsy. So what I like to do, is I find it easier to just do a knife. So cut one side, get it nice and flat, and then it's nice, it's stable on your cutting board. Okay, do it this way. I just find it's much easier to trim that way and quicker, but you know, once you're comfortable with a knife, and then you cut it thin. And then once you get down to the edge like this, I just flip it over. It's just easier to do. And then we got another one here that I started to trim. Same thing. You can saute these or you can just roast them right along with, just roast them right along with the flats.
putting it in the oven right in the middle. It's a 350 degree oven. It's preheated. Okay. And we'll check it in about 10 minutes. So this is it at 15 minutes. Okay, let's take it out of the oven and check it. Be careful of the door. so you don't let all the heat up. Okay, looking good. Okay, move around with the spatula. Oh, that's getting very close. Make sure you get all the like brown bits. definitely cooked. I'm just going to let it cook a couple more minutes to get it a little crispier, but that is definitely cooked. So you can call it a day at this point, but let's go ahead and put that in the oven for a couple more minutes. Okay. okay. And I think it is just about ready. 